everyone welcome back to my channel my name is katie and today i have another topic to share with you and that is how to resize your canva layouts all right so are you ready i'm ready so let's get started so we are here now in my canva account and this is what i see right after i log in and by the way i have a canva for work account the process that i will be teaching you today is unfortunately only available for those with canva for work account so if you are on the free account you will not be able to do this but the good thing is that you can avail of the free trial of canva let's open um a facebook post Here's a tip that I'm going to share with you. When you do resize, always make sure um, to have a plan ahead. So choose or start with the file that has the widest dimension so that you won't have a problem later when you have to um, resize it to a smaller dimension and that you don't need to do further editing anymore because they are gonna fit into the other smaller sizes anyway. So this is not a perfect option, but definitely this will actually speed up the process of editing for you if you are posting um, designs on different platforms. So say for example, you have to post on Facebook, you have to post on Instagram, or you have to post an Instagram story. So that's exactly what we are gonna do today. We are gonna design a Facebook post, an Instagram post, and an Instagram story, just one original file. And then we will just adjust the sizing of um the text and other elements if we want to try that okay so let's click on facebook post the dimension that we are going to use today is 940 px by 788 px so i'm going to click on that okay and then the page will load and i'm going to get a file from one of my folders um let's choose this okay and this one another option aside from clicking is to actually drag it and hover so that it fits the size perfectly i'm happy with this um, option right here and then i'm going to add a text and let me just increase and let's say for example we are um this facebook post is about homeschooling so I'm just going to type homeschooling right here and erase placeholder and adjust. I'm going to choose Montserrat just because it's one of my favorite fonts. So 48 and adjust again. So just eyeball or just adjust um, depending on um the font size that you want okay i think this is okay already and then i'm gonna add another text box to put the website so let's say for example um we don't have we cannot identify any website yet at this point so i'm just gonna put your website.com just for illustration purposes so there you go I'm okay with this or you can also put a logo right on top um let's just randomly pick an illustration so maybe a baby no not a baby but a kid or a toddler so i'm gonna type kid and i'm going to use this illustration this is a free illustration by the way so i can put in here just imagine that this is a logo okay but of course if you already have your logo then you can use your logo all right so that's it what i'm gonna do right now is to resize this facebook post size 
layout so that it will fit into an Instagram post. So as we all know, an Instagram post is a square file. So I'm going to click on resize and click on Instagram post. You are actually free to choose all the resizing options that you want if you want to. But for this tutorial today, I'm just going to choose one at a time so that you will not be confused and overwhelmed. All right. So I'm going to click Instagram post. Um, actually, some um, would require you to have 1,200 pixels by 1,200 pixels, but Canva recommends just 1,080, and that's not too bad already. That's a perfect size. So click on Instagram post, and then click on copy and resize, and then another window will open. All right, and here you go. This is now how it looks like if you post on Instagram. Now, I'm going to adjust it because um, the placements have been adjusted as well automatically. So, I'm okay with this. Now, I have something to post on my Instagram. And you can also adjust. All right. So that it will um, have some more elements or it can have more of the stock photo that you used. So now you can just rename this, let's say for example, IG post so that you will know when you download. And here we are going to replace this to FB post as well. All right, now the last resizing option that I'm going to teach you today would be how to make an Instagram story. So I haven't really seen an Instagram story right here in the suggestions. I'm not sure. Maybe there is, but I haven't seen one. So what I'm going to do is to click on custom dimensions. So if you don't want to scroll and you can be bothered and you know the size anyway, just click on custom dimension to save you time. So the width for a um, an Instagram story is 1080 and the height is 1920. So 1080 by 1920px, click on copy and resize. And there you go. Now, um, it actually changed it so much because this is a tall um, size of a file. So I'm going to change it and I'm going to adjust it. This is... Um, bit of a downside if you are working with automatic resizing because of course um it actually doesn't really know what you like so what you need to do is just to adjust everything since we use this side already for our instagram post maybe we can use this for the ig story all right so there you go that's how quick and easy it is to resize um if you have um, I Canva for work on your subscription. So I'm gonna just change this to IGS post or Instagram story post. And of course, the possibilities are limitless. So um, like, let's revisit the resize option again so you can see. You can resize to presentation wide, to Facebook post, poster, Facebook cover, Instagram post, certificate, brochure, and all that stuff. But what I'm going to tell you right now is please don't expect that this feature is perfect because you still have to do some adjustments like what we did earlier and what I showed you so that it will fit the design or the layout that you have in mind that you before you post them on your social media accounts all right so that's it for today i'm gonna be back with other lessons again in the next few days thank you so much for subscribing to my channel if you are not subscribed yet um you can click on the subscribe button below or you can also tap the notification bell so that you will receive a notice um once i post a video so that's it um if you have any questions please don't hesitate to leave a comment down below and probably if you have any suggestions as well on what i need to feature or film for the next episodes of our um, tutorials i would be happy to help you out and also i'm gonna link down below the group that i have for canva creatives in the philippines of course, if you are not from the Philippines, you can join as well. We use English mostly on that group, so you can still relate to us. Um, we're slowly reaching 2,000 members in the group. So if um, 
you wanted to join us feel free to join i'm gonna put the link down below okay so you just have to click it all right so that's it for today i'll be back for other lessons next time bye bye mm -hmm.